Good morning and welcome to our service this morning. It's brought to you from the dining room of the rectory uh, with the more household in, in attendance. It's all part of this new style of service that we have, so there may be some accompanying noises from our household this morning. We're going to light a candle to symbolise God's presence among us. Lord be with you. And also with you. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. In a moment of silence we prepare our hearts and minds to worship God. Like Mary at the empty tomb, we fail to grasp the wonder of your presence. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Like the disciples behind locked doors, we are afraid to be seen as your followers. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Like Thomas in the upper room, we are slow to believe. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray the words of the collect which collect our thoughts and prayers before God. Almighty Father, you have given your only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification. Grant so, grant us so to be put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you in the pureness of living and truth. Through the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Good morning, everyone. A reading from Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 14, and then from verse 22 onwards. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. You that are Israelites, listen to what I have to say. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with deeds of power, wonders and signs that God did through him among you, as you yourselves know, this man handed over to you according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of those outside the law. But God raised him up, having freed him from death, because it was impossible for him to be held in its power. For David says concerning him, I saw the Lord always before me, for he is at my right hand so that I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart was glad and my tongue rejoiced. Moreover, my flesh will live in hope, for you will not abandon my soul to Hades or let your Holy One experience corruption. You have made known to me the ways of life. You will make me full of gladness with your presence. Fellow Israelites, I may say to you confidently of our ancestor David that he both died and was buried and his tomb is with us to this day. Since he was a prophet, he knew that God had sworn with an oath to him that he would put one of his descendants on his throne. For seeing this, David spoke of the resurrection of the Messiah, saying, He was not abandoned to Hades, nor did his flesh experience corruption. This Jesus God raised up, and of that all of us are witnesses. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning. Our Gospel this morning is taken from John chapter 20. Verses 19 to the end. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails, and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was there with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet came to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. And so we declare our faith in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures. He was buried, he was raised to life on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. Afterwards he appeared to his followers and to all his apostles. This we have received and this we believe. Amen. 
And now we pray in response to God's grace. In joy and hope, let us pray to the Father that our risen Saviour may fill us with the joy of his glorious and life-giving resurrection. Lord Jesus Christ, sow in our hearts the seed of joy which comes from loving one another as a small imitation of the love you have shown to us in the sacrifice you made on the cross. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer, that isolated and persecuted churches may find fresh strength in the good news of Easter. We thank you for the lives and examples of the apostles who spread the good news and built your church. We pray that today's good news may reach the ears of people in every part of the world. May they see that good has conquered evil, that love has proved stronger than hatred, and that light will always overcome the darkness. Almighty and eternal God, who for the firmer foundation of our faith allowed your holy apostle Thomas to doubt the resurrection of your son till word and sight convinced him. Grant to us who have not seen that we also may believe and so confess Christ as our Lord and God. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer that God may grant us humility to be subject to one another in Christian love. We pray for all in our community who are in need, the sick, the tired, the lonely and the grieving, the unemployed, the homeless and unloved. We pray for families whose homes are not places of sanctuary, but are places of violence and fear. Help us to notice their needs and be moved to give them relief and show them love. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer, that he may provide for those who lack food, work or shelter. We remember the work of the food banks and all who give generously to help those in greatest need. We also pray for those struggling to cope with financial pressures, the loss of jobs, the loss of status and a place in the community because of the virus. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer, that by his power, war and famine may cease through all the world. And at this time of pandemic across the world, we pray for the doctors and nurses, the porters and cleaners, and all who are working in our NHS, all those working in our care homes for the elderly and disabled, and in the medical centres across the globe. We pray for our other key workers, bringing food to the supermarkets and working there, the delivery drivers, the police, ambulance and fire officers, the bin men. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer, that he may reveal the light of his presence to the sick, the weak and the dying, to comfort and strengthen them. Merciful God, we entrust to your tender care those who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens your everlasting arms, you are there to hold them safe. Comfort and heal them. We name them now in our homes. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That according to his promises, all who have died in the faith of the resurrection may be raised on the last day. We pray for those who have recently died and are known to us. We pray for all who have died from COVID-19 here in this country and across the world. Bring comfort to all who mourn, especially those who were unable to visit their family before they died and those unable to attend the funeral of a loved one. Be with us today as we celebrate again your glorious victory over death and help us to live 
knowing that through your victory, we with them are assured of a place with you at your table in the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. That he may send the fire of the Holy Spirit upon his people, so that we may bear faithful witness to his resurrection. We pray to the Father. Hear our prayer. And as our risen Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Normally on a Sunday morning we would gather together around the communion table and share the bread and wine together. Of course, under cer present circumstances we're not able to do that, but I will um, consume some bread and wine on your behalf. And I hope and pray that you'll be able to take part in our communion in a form of spiritual communion by saying the words in bold on our pew sheet. He took the bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Come to me, and, and I, I will refresh you. I will renew you. I will restore you. Come to me. I am the bread of life. Remember me. Remember me. I am known in the breaking, in the breaking of the day, and in the breaking of the bread. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Remember me, be filled by my spirit, let my life fill yours. Give, Give you courage, courage fill, fill you, you with, with joy. And so we respond to receiving our spiritual communion. Almighty Father, who in your great mercy gladdened the disciples with the sight of the risen Lord, give us such knowledge of his presence with us that we may be strengthened and sustained by his risen life and serve you continually in righteousness and truth. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And to our blessing. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and all those that you love this day and forevermore. Amen. We abide in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.
Oh Lord of my heart. 